storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. Congratulations are in order. I ain't got no drink though, so we gonna congratulate with a little hug. Congratulations are in order for Garcelle Beauvoir, aka Fancy from the Jamie Foxx show, aka one of the finest sisters of the 90s and early 2000s. Her and Holly Robinson, Pizza, and I Lathan and Nia Long was killing the damn game. And these helpers born in the last... <laughs> In the last 18, 19 years, can't even compete or hold a candle to them. I mean, truly vintage cookie, you know, and not that used-ass vintage cookie like Nicole Murphy. True, good vintage cookie that anybody would want to eat. Everybody wants this cookie. Okay, we're not going to get into that. Today, we're making this video because Garcelle has just been named as a new cast member to Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. She is the first African-American woman to ever be casted on the show. And people are excited. And look, I am too. I don't always want to be a... a uh, uh, I don't want to say Debbie Downer, but a, but a, but a Tyrone Downer. I don't always want to do it, but I got to. Because I look too deep into things, people. They put Garcelle on that damn show... Because they need to spice it up because the show is boring as hell and they're going to use her for ratings. Point blank and a period. Now, I know any show that's on TV is on there for ratings, but her being black is going to add a different seasoning to the show that it lacks. You know, right now, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills is very like bland chicken breast, you know, nothing but a little salt, a little pepper, not even fully cooked. It wasn't washed, no lemon juice, no apple cider vinegar, nothing like that. They feel like if they add Garcelle, all of a sudden you're going to have marination and, and black pepper, red pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, you know, you're going to have that lorries on it to give the show some life. They have only added Garcelle to that cast because Lisa Vanderpump will no longer do the show and that they are pretty much out of storylines now. And the only thing else you can do is bring a black person into the mix to shake some shit up. Because we all know when black people come to some, we gon' shake the shit up. They also needed somebody that was attractive enough to sit next to those white ladies and really um, fit in. But non-confrontational enough to where she didn't scare the other white women, which is why they don't have Lenithia Nene Leakes on the cast. Because as you guys know, Nene Leakes been wanting to get on that Beverly Hills cast ever since season eight or seven. Let me make sure I got that right. Since season... Mm. Since season seven or season eight of Real Housewives of Atlanta, this was around the time where Nene's acting career was taking off. She was on the new normal. She had got that house out in L.A. If y'all remember that house out in L.A., remember when she had that party that she invited all of the girls to, but they came to a four hours late. So she kicked their ass out because she said, look, we may be on color time in Atlanta, but out here in L.A., I am not Nene. I am Nancy, darling, and we're going to be on time and I'm not Playing that, although we know that Nina, your ass is always on color time too. It is what it is. But anyway, that was 2014. Nini was talking about getting on that cast back then, but of course. They didn't let her and they didn't even entertain it. And I had thought, well, maybe Nene just ain't got enough money yet. You know, she does claim to be a rich bitch, but rich bitch in Atlanta can't really compare to rich bitch in Beverly Dam Hill. So they weren't entertaining it. Now we know it's basically because they want a black woman that's attractive enough to fit in with the cast. Something for the white man to look at as well and for the white women to aspire to be. But at the same time, somebody that they not afraid of and that they afraid is going to choke them out or, 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 or beat everybody's ass on the cast or be, you know, on that booger sugar, allegedly. I also felt like Garcelle was simply being put on the show because she is black because she simply isn't that relevant in my opinion. Like, don't get me wrong. The Jamie Foxx show was big back in the day, but that's one of those shows that was more big in the urban community, AKA the black community. If you go up to a lot of white people today and just be like, who is Garcelle Beauvoir? They'd be like, who? And you say, fancy, you know fancy, right? From the Jamie Foxx show and they like, what? They're like, oh my God, I love Jamie Foxx, but like they won't really know who she is. So to me, 
her being added was odd, but we're still congratulating her. I mean, hell, even if you look at her social media numbers, it is the lowest out of all the cast. Garcelle Bouvard only has 384,000 followers on Instagram versus Kyle Richards. Uh, Camille Grammer or Camille Meyer now, I think Denise Richards and Erica Jane that have at least a million or more followers on Instagram. So let me know what you think down below. I do feel like Andy Cokehead Cohen and the Bravelous Bravo Network is just pretty much going to use her for a season to add some spice and some drama and then they're going to kick her ass off. But I could be wrong. This really could be a great reboot to her career so we will wish her the best and we will be watching don't y'all be racist over there towards her don't y'all be throwing no no black digs i will be watching closely and if any of them cross the line and get out oh i didn't drop the damn camera that's how hard i'm gonna go in on them. if any of them cross that damn line and not treating her with the respect that fine ass garcelle deserves i will be roasting them to smithereens on this channel so let me know what you think down below. Are you here for Garcelle even being on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? Do you even watch Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? Because to me, that show was more of a, oh my God, you didn't come to my gala. And oh my God, uh, you have a Bentley that is a year old. It's so last season. Like it's, it's not real issues like they are in Atlanta where they get hood and they fighting or even up there in Jersey where they don't have a problem with scrapping it out either and calling each other hoes and prostitutes and, and, and flipping tables and all that. And they going to jail and, and, and for tax issues. So anyway. Before I go, got to shout out my sponsors. My first sponsor is Smile Love. Smile Love provides an alternative solution to those nasty traditional braces. Use my discount code STORM550 to get $550 off your new set of aligners today. And they look just like that. I also want to shout out my next sponsor, Bridget down there at Blessed Fragrances. She has been making body oils, perfumes, sprays, and roll-ons for over 20 years. Mm. And in addition to that, if you use my discount code STORM, you will get 15% off of your order today. And lastly, we got to shout out Regina's Hair Salon down in Houston, Texas. She got a 4.8 out of 5 star rating on Facebook. And in addition to that, Regina makes a bomb as hair mink oil, which will help breakage, shedding, and help bring them and bring help bring them edges back that them soul ends and them tight ass micros have taken off. Like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys and I it's storm show. Ay, it's storm show.